I have never seen anything like this. I didn't even know it was even possible to make a material like this. So when I started this whole journey of wood turning, I set certain milestones to myself that I want to achieve during this journey. And these milestones are pretty much art pieces that I want to be able to create. I think today is going to be the first milestone or the first art piece that I find difficult. And I am going to try to create this art piece. And uh, it is called the rebirth of the forgotten log. Mustard piece. So do you still remember this? One week work is already in this thing and about 50 pound worth of epoxy. Heavy, it's like five kilograms and I am scared. I am really scared to work with this material. So if you want to see how I made this pool, link is in the description. There is a separate video on it already. Let's get to it. So I want to use a wormhole screw, but there is a fairly obvious problem here. So the best solution I can think of is the dominator. So this technique, what I am about to attempt, is pretty much one of the milestones that I wanted to achieve when I started wood turning one and a half years ago. Every time I get to this point, I always check it out because this technique is fairly technical, very detailed, lots of sanding and you can mess this one up fairly easy. Especially when I work with expensive material, I usually just say, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I just do something safe. If I mess it up, I still have something. But this time I am going to try to learn this technique and I am going to use the most expensive material that I have in the shop to practice on it. So this is definitely not safely attached. So I am going to make a mounting point here and then I turn it around immediately. I'm not going to touch any of this. So if I will be able to pull this technique off and it looks decent, then I will be one step closer to call myself an artist. So this is kind of the level that gets a little bit difficult. So anything I have done so far wasn't really difficult. And uh, this one might be the hardest thing I have done so far. At least that's what I thought when I started this project, but I think I might have found a way to complete this project a little bit easier. A simple trick, just keep watching and I show you what I mean. So I made this pour pretty much like more than a month ago. So this epoxy is bone dry. So this is flaking like crazy. But if I work slowly, I mean really slowly, then I can control it. But it would take ages. So I am probably going to work quickly and make it flake like no tomorrow and then I fix it when I have the final shape. 
So if I am able to complete this piece the way that is in my head, you will see this is not really your average wood turning piece and not many people would try to recreate this piece because it takes an effort. I have this hunger inside me and I want to be a master of what I do. I don't know, I just, I have this duty, I feel this duty of, I'm not going to post a video of me doing something really simple because you took your time, you basically invested your time into me and you decided to watch my video so I am going to give you something special because I owe it to you and I definitely owe it to myself to do something special. So basically one of the reasons I decided to start on this project because I was able to buy a Proxon long neck angle grinder, battery powered, variable speed, sending disc, also carbide wheel, but this is not the trick that I am going to show you, but this helps definitely. So let's continue. So I have shown this technique previously in my videos and if you want to draw something on accurately you need some kind of reference point. So what I normally do with projects like this I just make a grid system using my index horse on the left and that grid system will allow me to draw on things accurately. So now I go upstairs and I draw on some kind of design. I don't normally photograph myself when I draw because uh, it's uh, difficult and I want to be comfortable. So I will come back when the design is done and I show you. Okay, so here is the design. I want to make every single one of these pretty much like a blade. So you have to remember something very important when it comes to carving. So basically the sad truth is it is going to get worse before it gets better. And if you are not able to deal with this fact then you are in trouble. Because sometimes it gets so bad you might even give it up before it gets better. So just keep it in mind and just keep working. So I think I have figured out the best way to do it and surprisingly it is easy. So I use this flat cutting disc. It's a carbide burr. If you don't have this, any other cutting disc will do. Let's show you what to do with it. So basically, the only thing you need to do is just make a groove in the middle, so between the two lines. It's 
following the lines make it deep as deep as any of these watch how I hold the carving tools I don't always hold it like a pencil sometimes I hold it like a carving knife and just use my thumb to control the notion So now I am going to share with you the secret how you can make it really good, really easily and it's going to be very accurate. No fancy carving machine, no fancy equipment, just a normal fire. First thing I do, I just lock my, my lathe and see how easy it is. That's all I have to do. So this is basically so easy, it's difficult to make a mistake. So now the outside is finally finished. The only thing I have to do is pretty much hand sand it for like 10 hours. And this is where this guy will help me a lot. It's still going to be lots of hand sanding, hours of hand sanding, but this thing will help. So the final thing I have to do, if you have noticed, this thing is not hollowed out. So I am going to hollow it out, but I am not going to make thin walls because the wood is really soft. It was a rotten log what I used and uh, I really don't want to break this thing right now. I would be so upset if I break this thing right now. It's so much work I put into this. Mustard piece. See? It is real. I have video evidence. Thank you for watching. <laughs>